Hello plant community, thanks for tuning into this channel. If you're new here, welcome. And today you guys, I'm going to provide you with an update of the uh, plant unboxings of the plants that I got from Equigenera. Yeah, I think for about like maybe like two months ago, I shared with you guys some uh, plants that I ordered overseas. And this is my first time actually ordering plants um, from another country. So, um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. Um, like I said, before I start showing you guys these plants, some of these plants are not in the best um, condition, giving you guys a full disclosure there. Um, and so, yeah, let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start with the first plant. I'm starting from, I'm going to try to work from the worst to the be better ones, so to speak. So let me just start with my Philodendron varicosum. Um, I'm going to have to show you guys a photo of this plant because unfortunately it's no longer with me. Um, what happened with this plant is it just never bounced back. The roots were um, extremely um, uh, dry and um, all of the leaves was pretty much wilted and even though I put it in um, some water to try to um, rejuvenate it, it still was not making any form of any signs of life. The stems itself was actually dry as well as brittle. Um, now I did um, communicate with the people from Equigener and their, their customer service I gotta say was very very good I didn't have any problems with that and some of the plants that I'm showing you I believe they did um, give me my money back for some of the plants that um, I was having issues with so um, like I said I didn't have any problems with that in that area but you know this is just um, you know part of the ordering from overseas you do take a chance sometimes the plants do not come in the desired health that we wish we would receive them so let me move on to the next plant you guys this next one is actually my anthurium I'm sorry not anthurium this is my philodendron melanochrysum this is what's left you guys and I'm trying my best to revive it it, the, when I first unboxed this plant, if memory serves me correct, the roots was very good. I really don't know what happened. All of a sudden, the leaves itself just started falling off one by one. And all my new plants that I do have from Equigener, since they came bare rooted, I went on and put them in um, my, my hydroponics and um, hoping that it would just revive it. And like I said, I lost all the leaves and unfortunately it only gave me this little tiny leaf right here. Um, and it's unfurling or this leaf as well as this leaf. So I'm still being hopeful that maybe this plant will, uh, I don't know, give me something. I, I, like I said, I really didn't know what happened. I don't know, maybe this plant might need a little bit more humidity. Uh, maybe I should bring it in here. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, if y'all, if any of you have um, this, which one is this, the melanochrysum, um, can you comment below and let me know exactly what it is that I'm missing here? Um, I know it's not a lighting thing because it's getting very good light. Um, so yeah, my next one, and I had a total of, I think, seven plants that I actually ordered, um, from overseas and Fortunately, only, I only lost really one plant, but these other plants that I'm showing you kind of like these plants right here were kind of struggling a little bit. This next one is my Anthurium Umbracola, which I also have it in hydroponics, and look at it, you guys. And I do know that certain Anthuriums can be fussy uh, with humidity. Like, this is the only leaf that I really have left that's not, is still limp. And I have it in, um the hydroponics but when I did check a couple of weeks ago you guys the um, root system did not look good at all so I wound up having to get rid of practically all of the root system and start all over so I'm hoping you know I don't have too much um, optimism for this plant you know if I, if, if, if I lose it I lose it I'm not gonna be too upset about it um, it'll just be a bummer because I really wanted this particular plant uh, like anthuriums, I know they're a little bit um, tricky depending on the species, the types, but I don't know. If y'all have any tips about this one, you know, please comment below. Let me know what it is that I need to do. Once again, this is also 
Um, it's not it's not getting any bright light, but it's getting medium light, I would say. So I don't know. And I think I actually start I actually brought it in here just to see if I would see any change. And I only brought it, it's only been in here for about a week. So I'm still not giving up hope, you guys. Hopefully this will do something for me. My next one I have is also an anthurium. If you've seen the video, this one was really long. And I'm going to show you this. I have, I'm, I'm creating my own little ecosystem here. Um, and it's been working a little bit. It's been forming some kind of condensation. I'm just trying to promote some form of growth. And this is the, let me just take it off. Probably need a little bit of air anyway. This is my, uh, what's this? This is the Anthurium Pallidiflorum. And if you watch me unbox it, the leaves were so long, you guys, and so velvety. But literally the next day after I unboxed it with you guys, the edges um, crisp up terribly. The um, green color was actually very, very hard, rough, and it shriveled up tremendously. And so I just recently, not too long ago, just trimmed a little bit what I could. But for the most part, the edges was looking like this. And I haven't seen any growth in it. I got rid of all of the, um, I guess the, the, the some of the, the roots were kind of crispy and dry. I got all, I got rid of all that and I, I cleaned it very well. So I don't know, it just hasn't given me any form of, hey, I want to survive, I'm trying to make a comeback. And, um, but it hasn't gotten any worse than this. Um, it's a shame, though I really hope that maybe it will start doing some form of growth. Uh, maybe in the um, growing season, maybe. I don't know. It's a bummer, though, because I really would have loved this plant because it was a different shape pattern and it was so long and really different from any of the other plants that I have in my collection. But I'm still being hopeful. Like I said, I'm using this trick. Um, I'm calling it a trick. I don't know, but it's you know I, I do a lot of experimentation to really find out what works well and what doesn't. And so I use this big uh, freezer bag and I put it over there to add extra humidity, especially since I don't have a humidifier in my house and I have this plant inside my home as opposed to in here. Now my next one. This is a philodendron, and I'm glad to show you some of my plants actually do have leaves and this is my charcoal red it was called um, Ruba Ruba juvenile form and I lost all the leaves on this plant you guys and thank goodness I just wouldn't give up and it just gave me this leaf but I did notice that it is starting to crisp a little bit around the edges could that be because of lack of humidity I'm thinking maybe so um, it has slight a little bit of red and it's just giving me this little leaf right here about a week or so ago so um, very beautiful still and it does have another new um, growth pattern right here that's trying to emerge and come out and like I said I have it in hydroponics and I want to show you from the hydroponics the roots are growing so it is developing um like i said it's, co it's come a long way because it was just a stem for almost like over a month and then all of a sudden something finally you know just started growing out of it so i'm glad that it did it's taken off somewhat um but you know if you have any tips you guys please help me out here and share below I would hate to lose any of these plants, but I mean, if it happens, it happens. Um, I'm going to try my best to learn something from them if I do lose them. Now, my next one, which I'm really excited about this making this, trying to make a comeback slowly, but surely, you guys, is actually my Plowmanii. The leaves... Um, they were extremely big when I first unpacked it and then the next day they were just turning yellow one by one and then they were just falling off and so I was left with just this uh, stem part 
and I have this like I said all of them are in a, a semi hydroponic type of thing and so far I've gotten this leaf along with this leaf that's grown back and I have some new growth right here so I'm super excited and also too I don't know if you can see it it's like a little growing eye medium thing right here that's um, kind of like coming out and let's just take a look at this root system it's just only a little bit of roots coming out at the bottom but as long as it's healthy you know I'm excited that I have this I think it's beautiful um, the leaves don't have to be super big for me it's fine but yeah I'm, I'm excited really ecstatic about this one and then my last one will be my philodendron gloriosa this one has definitely made a comeback um, same scenario you guys I lost all the leaves on this plant and then all of a sudden um, growth just emerged literally probably I say maybe a few weeks ago probably like two maybe three weeks ago this came and then shortly after this leaf came I mean it's just beautiful look at that and then I think it's another new growth pattern coming out here and like I said it's in hydroponics as well and let's take a look so far this has some nice roots going out growing out so it is developing so I'm good to I'm happy to see some healthy roots actually forming and so I know that when the roots are strong and they're healthy that my plants will have a better chance of survival now what have I learned you guys from look at that mm. now what have I learned from I learned one like I said before you're gonna take a chance when you order online um, and I can't really you know really fault Equigenera or anything like that like I said their customer service was really really good um, they refunded my money for some of my plants as long as I showed them photos which I did and they kept me informed they communicated with me they also even gave me a couple of tips of what I could try to do to revive some of the plants so um, I was just a little like I said a little disappointed with the condition of the plants some of the root system in my opinion was a little dry but at the same time if you was to actually ask me okay if you ask me Pam would you actually order from them again I actually would and the reason why is because I already communicated with them of my concerns about certain things and what I like doing with anybody or any business you want to give somebody an opportunity to um, listen to your concerns and hopefully apply um, a whole new um, I guess platform so to speak so that you want to give them time to improve and so yeah I would actually um, order from Equigenera again has it has this um, experience discouraged me from ordering overseas at any company no it really has not um, like I said you do take a chance and as long as you're open-minded and you realize that and then I mean even whether you order online here it within inside the country because it's coming from a different state is going through traveling you don't know what to expect once you open up that box so um, I you know I'm not disappointed or really upset I'm glad that it's, it's giving me opportunities actually to learn something different to learn okay what do I need to do to make this plan successful is get is pushing my thought process of me being able to uh, be a little bit more adventurous as far as what can I do so you know like I said I came up with the um, I came up with this method I, I you know I don't know if it's gonna work but I figured you know the plan is declining anyway at least if it does die I can say honestly I've done everything that I can um, to revive it and either it, it what I do works or either what I do fail but either way you know I've learned something along the way so you guys share that's pretty much it for this video um, share below I'd like to know if you have actually did any um, plant buying um, overseas and what your experience were um, if you have any other maybe recommendations for another company that maybe I could try like I said I'm not gonna buy any now I probably if I do go overseas another time it's gonna be during the growing season I wouldn't want to yeah or someplace where I know it could be a little bit of affordable I don't know but 
yeah guys but that wraps it up um, keep in mind you guys if you love foliage as much as I do and you love listening to planty things please subscribe to this channel um, give me a big thumbs up you can give me a thumbs down any way you want to vote guys I respect your opinion I really do um, enjoy your day wherever you are in the world and until next time guys much love bye